Greetings everyone, I am Shijat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shijat and today we are going to talk about Nonan syndrome, a very interesting topic of genetic. So it's an autosomal heterogeneous disorder characterized by a mutation of tyrosine phosphate on non-receptor type 11 of chromosome 12. Tyrosine phosphate plays its role in signaling transduction in signaling pathways in receiving, in sending information as well as in neuronal plasticities, it plays its role. So what happens if we have mutation of that tyrosine phosphate? Main aim in this topic is we will going to discuss clinical manifestations that patient approach to us, how we can identify patient is having Nonan syndrome. So for that we have few signs and symptoms which are basically uh, give us an idea that this particular patient is having Nonan syndrome. So patient approaching to us is having short stature, having ocular hypotolerism. Ocular hypertolerism means there is an increase in distance between eyes this area. It increased so this is ocular hypotolerism. As well as heart anomalies, webbed neck, chronic heart disease, pulmonary stenosis, Incidence of this disease is 1 in every 2500, like we can say 1 ratio 1000 to 2500 patients. There is one case of Nonan syndrome. When you talk about family history, parents are positive, there is 50% chances in children of development of Nonan syndrome. Low set tears, sclerosis mean a wavy spine and uh, sunken and protruding chest and uh, in case of adult there is infertility chances and in case of child speech disturbances we see as well so how we can going to identify investigate diagnose and treat it so investigation main investigation is genetic investigation as well as ECG is also there and clinical symptoms and signs which patient is showing accordingly for Nonan syndrome. Secondly is that we do diagnosis and in genetic test there is chromosome 12 anomaly especially on known autosomal and uh, protein kinase. So that ultimately uh, tells us about Nonan syndrome, but there is also pulmonary venous stenosis, which is asymptomatic in patient with Nonan syndrome, but it shows dyspnea and uh, loud P and uh, right ventricular hypertrophy sign. So in treatment, we have balloon valvoplasty and valve replacement as well as in prognosis we have cardiac death if heart anomaly is more is increased so we have vast chances of development of cardiac death so guys that's our short introduction short video we can say overview video of nonan syndrome hope you guys will understand it in case of any query you guys are more than welcome my number is mentioned in channel as well as facebook page description so you guys are more than welcome for any query and from next we are definitely going to start and complete anatomy series and uh, as well as few lectures of biochemistry and physiology for our first semester second semester third semester students because of i receive a lot of requests from them to explain these in videos as well so we'll definitely going to start those in complete series form inshallah and in last, I just request you that if you are new to Medgos Lectures by Shijat, then don't forget to subscribe to Medgos Lectures by Shijat. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.